Today we are back with some more MTG Arena checking out a Demir Bounce deck. As the name suggests, the objective of this deck is to really annoy your opponent by continually bouncing back cards to the hand and then play some big creatures when their hands pretty much disappeared. Jumping into the deck list quickly, uh, we've got a big focus on like Exclusion Mage for obvious reasons. We've got some discard cards like Thought Erasure and Disinformation Campaign. Some more kickback cards like Blink of an Eye. Some like hard removal like the Chapacabra and uh, Vraska's Contempt. And some of the big boys have bounced back here too with Dream Eater and Riddle Master Sphinx. This deck is not actually half bad. Uh, in Constructed Event, I just played through and got six wins before, so hopefully I can replicate some good games for you guys. Again, I'm still fiddling around with this deck, so if you have any suggestions for what cards you would put in here, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to uh, test them out. And if you do end up enjoying this video and you want to see more MTG Arena videos, please uh, hit the subscribe button to be notified when I upload. Let's uh, take this for a spin in the Constructed Event. All right, going to keep this one. Uh, we do have our Dream Meter for when we get a bunch more mana and in that meantime we have some things to uh, tide us over. Blink of an eye and Simis Sinister Sabotage. Let's say Sinister Sabotage. Uh, let's put out our guild gate and see what is me is uh, gonna come out at us with. Oh, maybe some vampires perhaps. All right, Chupacabra is most definitely good here. Uh, let's get that down. Uh, that does allow us to sinister sabotage this turn. If it's me, plays a card we want to get rid of. Probably knows. Uh, yeah, nah. We don't want that. <laughs> See you later, mate. Even though this card's a bit slow, we're still going to keep it. We're gonna pass the turn and then do Chemist's Insights on uh, their turn. That just allows us to have Blink of an Eye open in case for some reason we need to play that now. All right, let's get our Chemist's Insight. Uh, this guy probably is a bit paranoid that I'm playing um, Control, so which is why he's not playing anything. That's my prediction anyway. Uh, that's pretty good that we've got another Sinister Sabotage coming out. Ooh, they got right. They got our uh, the history of Banalia there. That is a good one for them <laughs> to uh, avoid my counter with. All right, we can swamp out now. All right, I think we might blink of an eye um, one of their knights just so that doesn't ping off. So first of all, we're going to play disinformation. See if we draw anything good. Just a mana, but that's all right. That should allow us to get our Dream Eater out. Uh, we are actually going to pass a turn and then we can blink of an eye when they come to attacking. We'll see if they've put anything else out. Let's put out our blink of an eye now. We'll just return one of these to hand. Sanctum Seeker is going to be a bit of an annoying card out, but we can uh, Chupacabra it next turn if we want to. Let's Chupacabra. Take this guy out. Again, we don't have enough mana here to stop a Sinister Sabotage. Uh, to start a Sinister Sabotage, sorry. I don't really mind taking this four damage here. Uh, we still have plenty of life left. Four life lost and gained. That's all good. Mm, that's going to take up all of our mana here. I don't actually mind if Chupacabra dies, so they just swing in with it. They might just take the damage. Pass the turn, and then we are going to put our Dream Eater out uh, within their turn. Probably blocking the Sky March Bloodletter there. Seal away. That's lucky that uh, <laughs> they've played that now. What are they taking? Oh, all right a bit of an interesting card to seal away but maybe they feel like it's getting in their way all right now we put down dream eater all right 
Chupacabra, good. Ritual of Soot, pretty good. Don't really want any more mana. Let me get rid of those two by now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return this to the hand because obviously it can't go back to the hand. And then we're gonna put in this block here. Uh, we're also gonna get our disinformation back. That's a uh, pretty good turn for us. I really want a disinformation campaign here just because they're running low on cards and they've probably held some good ones with them. So probably going to be a tricky decision. What do they have to get rid of? Yep. And uh, we're just going to sit on this because we do have our similar... Sinister Sabotage. Man, I can't even say that today. We do have our Sinister Sabotage open, which is going to be pretty good, I think, here. Whatever they play, I just kind of want to get rid of it. Um, yep. Nope. Bye. We still don't, we don't really need any more mana, so we're just going to continue getting rid of them. Uh, that's going to put our disinformation campaign back into our hand again. I feel like this game's now turned into our favor. A lot of bounce creatures here, so... If I play Insights, then I can't get my other Sinister Sabotage across, so... We're just going to attack for now. This guy's saying, good game. I'm gonna disinformation him again. See if he finishes. But yeah, I think this game pretty much showed off this deck perfectly. It's a lot of just removal, taking out stuff, and then playing big creatures. The sinister sabotage that. Yeah, there we go. Good game, is me. This has got some board wipes, creatures, good balance. So we're gonna keep this one. Probably try to course on turn two so we can start drawing some cards. This is. Red, green, maybe they're playing some dinos. So let's just put down an island for now. Possibly dinos. Dinos, pretty nice we've got these. All right, let's get the catacombs out and let's shut a course because why not? I wanna just start drawing cards. To me, I feel like I kind of don't want this, but if they start playing Lanawar elves, I might. So let's just take out a swamp for now. It's a good backup to have just in case, but am predicting that they are playing dinos. Controlling a creature with power four or more greater, draw a card. So again, points to dinos. Let's get out another one of those. We don't really want an exclusion mage at the moment. Good move for us is just wait until they play their big creatures and then send it back. Frenzied Raptor, all right. If that doesn't look like a good exclusion mage target, I don't know what does out there and start the bounce. I was playing this deck the other day and I think I bounced like the same creature like three or four times. Like it just really gets annoying. For here what I want to do is keep my Sinister Sabotage open uh, and we are going to swing in just because Exclusion Mage has really already done what it wanted to do there. Get that damage across. Uh, they do have card draw here, which is annoying, and we don't have anything that can take out enchantments. We can bounce with blink of an eye, but that's about it. Four damage to any target, another enchantment. I don't want that coming out, so that's going to get seen as sabotaged. And we do not need a mana there. Take four here. I mean, I could have not attacked with them last turn, but yeah. Get that out. Okay, we do have enough to get our Dream Eater out. I'm gonna pass the turn and I'm gonna play um, Dream Eater on their turn. That is a pretty good plan. See if they get a bigger creature out. This guy is obviously fishing for some mana because he's not getting a lot of it down at the moment. He might play a big boy now. What are they pushing? Ah, huh, that's fine. Control that. I'm not too worried about getting rid of my 2 2 exclusion page. And uh, they do have Lanawa Elf out. Uh, yeah, let's get him out now. All right, we've got a big surveil here. Another Dream Eater, which is nice. His disinformation, nice. Riddle Master Sphinx, nice. And Chupacabra, I might put that. Hmm, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that too, to be honest. Let's bounce the raptor. Take action. Uh, 
I actually think I'm going to play this now. Um, reason being is I don't want them, like, even though we have answers to their ramp, I don't want them to... Oh, I should have actually done that before I attacked. That's two damage of missed here, which was pretty annoying misplay there. <laughs> Demanding dragon, that's that's all good. The annoying thing with demanding dragon is if I bounce him, then this five damage thing happens again. Resolve. I'm gonna decline this. I'd rather take the five. Oh man. Split flame dragons. Interesting. This is a cool deck. I like this dude. Might as well just Vraska now, to be honest. Let's get rid of him. The Sphinx. I'm probably going to Dream Eater in their turn, so right now we're just going to just do a nice old swing in. Some good four damage there. I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, Riddle Master Sphinx, same thing. I'm just can wait until they start playing out other creatures. Yep, that's fine. Let's see if they put anything else out here. Frenzied Raptor. Say hello to my Dream Eater. This is when the opponent gets annoyed. Yes, yes, yes. Don't need that. I want disinformation purely so that we can start discarding their cards in their hand. Sure do want to take action on that. Hmm. As much as I want to be greedy here and play the Riddle Master Sphinx, I still feel like it might be a bit risky and I want to keep its ability. Next turn we are going to get a, a disinformation. Yeah, there's a split flame. This keeps on playing that raptor. How many times have I bounced that raptor? In, po in my editing, I'm going to put how, how many times I've bounced this. Probably did need one more mana here to play the disinformation too, but that's all right. We also do have our Chupacabra here to uh, wipe if they do play any other bigger dragons. Otherwise, we do have the disinformation. All right, the Gore Claw coming out and the Regisaur. This is like all in. I could really annoy them by Blink of an Eye and, and Chupacabra. Yeah, I totally could. Let's swing in with our Sphinx first. And then Chupacabra, the Gore Claw. Bit more dangerous for us, and then we're gonna bounce to the Regisaur. Oh no! Oh, I should have actually did the kicker too. I'm always used to playing it like early in the turns that you can't really risk that much mana. Unless they have an answer to our Sphinx right now, I think that we've taken this game here. The four four coming out. Up oh, another Regisaur. That's that's all good. There we go, Ostro, taken out. 